Welcome to RaiGurukul.com. In this video, we will discuss about what is workspace in Azure Central and how to create a workspace and update and manage workspace according to our need. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with practical demo. First of all, what is workspace? So, workspace is a basically a workspace can subdivide it into multiple projects. A workspace administrator is delegated and authorized by the subscription administrator for each workspace. Using workspace widely, a rally workspace is a flexible instance of rally within our subscription that allows us to create our own team hierarchies, custom field, and agile workflow. For example, we can customize schedule and state names as well as names of portfolio items. All of the above customization that we can make are available across each project or team in the workspace. This helps with data rollups and reports that we need across the value stream. Rally permission model allows us to maintain a variety of programs and products within a single workspace that can be isolated or hidden from one another. We can create projects or items or teams to hold confidential information that is only available to selected individual. Use cases for multiple workspace we can also create it. We may have value stream that are unique enough to warrant their own workspace. For example, a software development workspace may not need to overlap with a rally workspace used for internal IT projects. Multiple workspaces should only be used to satisfy strict security policies or where the data for the workspace is unique. How to manage or view the workspace? So whenever we are managing or viewing the workspace, we just have to click on this tab where you will able to see workspace and their project. I have already created one workspace here, but you can create it according to your need. For creating a new workspace, just have to click on new workspace. Post clicking on this, you, you have to enter the name of the workspace, descriptions and street on which stage your workspace is available, open or close. You can create it, which all permission you have need or which your permission you are giving to the user, viewer or as an editor. Then time zone zone, you can also select it. Date format, you can keep the date format according to your need. Post entering all the details, just have to click and save and close your workspace will be created for your need so you can print reports to all of your workspace just like select this workspace and click on this workspace if you want to have look on any particular workspace you can print the pages so workspace and project action print report so you can print details you can print all the reports which you are looking for. As I said, creating workspace is easy, but you can also edit it according to your need. If you want to edit any of the data which is already present from here, you can do that. Now, how to configure the workspace and the projects? So, for configuration, select each and every filter which you are looking for. You can add the members or user inside your project then editing demo project is also it means editing your current project or other projects you can also create a child project so these all configuration you can do that fields which all fields you are looking for or if you want to add any particular field which is not available from the list you can also click a new field and that would be available inside your workspace now, time zone is a basically a time zones are set to at the workspace level by the subscription or workspace administrator. Dates are treated as a specific fixed point in time, not a calendar date. This allows consistency with distributed teams. 
the box space time zone is not necessarily the local server time zone. Time boxes start at midnight and end at one second before midnight. In the box space time zone, any date displayed in the list views include the time and time zone abbreviation in the box space time zone. Emails and notifications sent in the last time zone the user was while logged in the valley. Work this we can also set it according to your need where you want to set up your work days which all is working and which all is not working. For setting up in project you can set up item prefixes that is work product prefixes and for setting up work product prefixes you just have to go to projects and from here you can Select work product prefixes. And here you will get some items. Info owner, sorry, users. In work product prefixes, you will add user story, defect, defect suits, test cases, and task. Now if you want to configure units. So for configuring your units, you can specify the increments of measurement applied to work effort at a release and iteration level within your workspace. Example of unit include units point, hours and days. Units are alphanumeric fields. All special characters are allowed. You can edit units after data has been already recorded in your project. However, the new units level will not be applied to previous data. The new level will only be applied to quantities created or edited after the change was made. You can also add up plan estimate units and task estimate units. So if you want to do that, go to this and select respective edit icon for the workspace you want to edit. So just like this, here I can't see any units information, but definitely workflow inside this will have in the workspace item projects. And here you can create uh, action as well. So workspace action now inside add this section we will enter the deal. So, mock this, you can set it up from here and you can set up your user story or product prefixes as US, D and TA. Plan estimate, you can provide it into points, which are number of points you are looking for, 80, 70 or you can also estimate inside the hours. You can also manage your tags. So whenever you're working with the tags, select the tag in the sidebar when you want to add it. Tag is also very much important when we are calling with particular field. So that field, we will use it for calling that tags or we can add a new, inside this we can add our tag as well. You have to provide the descriptions what you are adding here and you can add it. Post configuring each and everything, you can minimize the contain or even if you want to do the subscription, you can do the subscription as well. But in workspaces, you are allowed to enter some state or filter with the data and if you want to print the report, you can print it. You can also add the member inside your team and you can remove the member 
whenever is needed so if you want to modify the scheduled state so for modifying a scheduled state just have to select this one and from the workspace item when you want to modify custom fields here inside this description you can modify or customize the drop down list as per your needs so this is all how we'll create it or how to use the workspaces according to our need so that's all about agile center workspace hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching